Japanese views this afternoon. A fresh bite of grass as they have completely skinned this field that they were on and it's getting very wet for them. So, you know, once that happens, once it starts getting wet on the ground, lameness and that starts to come about. There's a few lame ones in here, but we're treating them as we go. And if you can hear, but my uncle was just coming down the track at the moment with the tractor, ready to load them up. Here he is now, with the tractor and the trailer. Just turn around so we can back into this area here just to load the issue up. We're only loading um, 20 at the time on the bottom, but at the moment they are in lamb, so we don't want to stress them out too much. Just going up the road a bit, not too far. And I don't know how many we've got left, probably about another 30 odd, something like that anyway. So as you can see here, one of these ewes is a little bit lame. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. You see a bit in there, a bit of redness. The products that we're going to be using to solve Madam's problem here. We're going to be using these foot rod shears from Netex, from Net to Tex, and this foot for can of foot mask from Net to Tex as well to hopefully solve the problem. So yeah, give this girl a bit of a trim up. I'm afraid her feet, and we and I will um, here show you. Um, finishing product, but now, but yeah, like you can see here, so much, you know, mud and stuff like that. It's just, you know, been very uncomfortable for her as well. What up, my son? This is our ram as well. Thought I'd show you that. Probably not interested, but there you go. Anyway, I'll show you the final. Um, yeah, I'll show you when I'm when I'm done. Also, while we are moving the ewes today. We're going to take away the battery and unit. Um, don't think we'll pick the fence up today though. Um, but we'll definitely take this away because I know what people are like. They'll just walk wherever they like and nick it. Um, so yeah, come over on the quad as well. Um, and yeah, so I'll pick this up um, and then I'll show you the sheep once they've been um, once we're on the new field. This is now all the ewes moved onto this field. It doesn't look very special, but it's more of a clovery type mixy grassy stuff. It's just a few paddocks that we've had for rent close to home, so that's what we take them off. 